This situation has the lowest entropy because there is only one way it can happen. The second law of thermodynamics says that the entropy of the universe can only go up. The entropy of the universe can never go back down. Although there are many ways all the balls can be arranged inside just one sphere, there are far more ways the balls can be arranged with the balls spread out between both spheres. The more evenly the balls are spread out between the two spheres, the higher the entropy. This is why we will arrive at this situation if we wait long enough. This is also why this event can never occur. This would mean that entropy has decreased, violating the second law of thermodynamics. We can try to push all the balls back together again. However, there was only one way all the energy boxes could be contained inside the spring. Entropy has increased because there are many ways the energy can be spread out. Entropy also applies to energy. This is the reason life in the universe is possible. This is also the reason all life in the universe will end. The entropy is highest when the energy has spread out evenly throughout all the particles. This is why heat flows from warmer objects to colder objects until they reach the same temperature. Complex objects can be put together only because energy is added and converted into heat.
the dispersion of energy as heat increases entropy. The increase in entropy from heat offsets the decrease in entropy of the objects being put together. Because of the dispersion of energy as heat, the total entropy of the universe has still increased. Suppose we try to violate the second law of thermodynamics and do useful work without dissipating heat. We can use this fire to heat our box and cause the balls to speed up. The balls will push against the wall and stick, causing useful work to be done. At this point, although there's still a lot of energy in the fire, it will not be possible for more of this energy to flow into the box. This is because the box and the fire are now at the same temperature, and heat flows only from warmer objects to colder objects. For more energy to flow from the fire into the box again, we need to first cool the box back down. Now we can continue to use the energy from the fire to do useful work. Eventually the ice will melt and the fire will burn out. All engines and life forms need to dissipate heat to a colder object to keep operating. However, all objects will eventually reach the same temperature if we wait long enough. When everything reaches the same temperature, no engine or life form will be able to continue operating. Can we think of a way to avoid this? We know how to cause objects to slow down. Suppose we use this to try to violate the second law of thermodynamics by causing heat to flow from a colder object into a warmer object. Energy is transferred from the balls to the spring, causing the box's temperature to become colder than the ice.
Now heat flows from the ice to the box because the box is colder than the ice. Suppose we now compress the balls together, causing the box's temperature to become hotter than the fire. Now heat flows from the box to the fire because the box is warmer than the fire. This is how refrigeration and air conditioning work. The ice is getting colder and heat is flowing from the ice to the fire. However, the addition of energy increases entropy and the second law of thermodynamics is therefore not violated. All refrigeration and air conditioning requires the addition of energy. Suppose we try to create a perpetual motion machine by using an engine to power this refrigerator and using this refrigerator to cool the engine. Unfortunately, this idea can never work because the refrigerator will always require more energy to cool the engine than the engine can supply. Therefore, the energy that we dissipate as heat cannot be used again to do useful work and the fire will eventually run out of energy. We can keep the fire burning by adding fuel, such as coal or oil. But there is a limited supply of coal and oil in the earth, and we will eventually run out. We can keep the fire burning by using nuclear energy.